Guys, this right here is Tank. This is one of Kizzy's puppies. He's a crazy son of a gun, but I'm gonna tell you what, he loves retrieving, he loves water. Drew Durrett, his owner down in Texas, did a real good job with him. He, uh, he really does great with his eye contact. I've had him now for about a week and a half. We've been on the lead for a little while, and I'm gonna show you where I, exactly where I started. When I first get a dog, I let him get acclimated to his surroundings. You know, we moved him up here, he's freaking six, 700 miles away from his home. He's around other dogs and stuff. It took him just a little while. He's a little heavy when I got him. I slicked him down pretty good. He's been running a lot, doing a lot of swimming. But he's only had a lead on him now for about four or five days, and he was absolutely hated it at first. He started learning just how long this thing is. Now, I will graduate to a longer lead, get to maybe a, a 40 footer, and that's so that he feels like he's got the ability to go when he wants to but he's still at the end of that this lead or those leads will not come off of him for maybe well until i finish sit stay here and heal until he knows those words perfectly when i say here he comes no matter what he's doing he's coming that'll be after collar conditioning that's exactly when i'll take the uh the the, the lead off of him and then i've got of course the lead as far as the e-collar is concerned now, when I first got him, like I said, he absolutely hated this. Now, I work on sit, stay, here, and heal almost in unison, but sit and hear, I work on the same words. He's gotten sit down pretty good. He's starting to listen to me. He's making good eye contact, but I'm going to start wanting him to get up to my side, and I've worked a little bit on that. But here's how, exactly how I start. I, you start with about a four-foot lead, and we're just going to do some quick little snaps. And I'm going to use the word here every time he gets away from my body or he gets starts doing his own thing. Here, I always want him to be with me. This is the way we do it. Here. Here. Good. Here. Here. I'll take a step away from him. Here. I'll snap his this way. I won't try to rip his head off or nothing like that. I'll just get him here. Here. I'll make him keep up with me. Here. Every time his head, and I keep an eye on him, every time your dog looks down or does something different, you, you pull him here, here. When you make a hard right turn away from him, you go here. Every now and then, bump into him. Make him know this is, we're, we're going, we're changing directions, we want to keep him right there. And, and trust me, after a little while, they learn this very, very easy. And then step away, here, 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 good dog. Here, now I'll do this in a lot bigger circle when the camera's not on me. Here, here, good. Here, 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 good dog. Here, sit, sit. And when I command that sit, I'll make dang sure that he comes back. The crop dusting, I guess, already. Can't believe it this early. And that was low. But, Anytime you're doing this, keep a very good eye on your dog. When he looks away, when he goes to the left, or any time like that, or tries to get in front of you, he wants to drag behind. I'm having to pull him up every single time. As, and always just kind of give him that quick and the verbal hear command. We're gonna turn that into a heel letter but later, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I uh, associate the words differently a little bit later on. You'll say that probably about the second or third video that I post up. Y'all keep an eye on this dog. I think you're fixing to find out he is a freaking work of art when he gets done.